before we start uh, let's go and download uh, an ID key to run a code okay so just download thorn or oh, thorny uh, Python right Tony Python download And this is for beginners. So install this in your in your computer. Go on Windows if you're using Windows. Just click on it, and then it's going to download uh, in our browser in our in our computer. And then we run the um, ID. You can see here uh, this is the uh, sketch of how it is. Can read a lot about it and uh, online here okay so just finish downloading and what you need to do just click on it to run it just click on it it's, it's going to run it and then click next so we're going to download in our browser so accept uh, this agreement click on it then here's the link showing showing you where uh, Thorn will be downloaded on your uh, on your computer. And then click next. And then if you need an uh, icon on your uh, desktop, just click uh, create and install. It's going to take a few seconds. Python is good uh, for beginners. Uh, it's, uh, it's a powerful language as well. It's a powerful language. So, it's a good language to learn. Right, so it's going to take a few seconds to finish downloading. So, let's wait a minute. Okay, so it's done. It's downloaded. Click finish. Now, once it's downloaded, let's go and open it. So we go in our desk desktop and look for Thorn. I'll drag it and put it here. And double click to open it. Showing you languages that you can run Thorn from. So many languages there. Just if you uh, used to English, just click English there. Uh, let's go. Open it. All right. Now here is here is the we have it there now. Here is our Thorn uh, ID. Without wasting any time, go on new and let's name this uh, file. Let's save as so. Just create um, create a folder uh, where you can just save your file. Uh, I've got my folder here in uh, my desktop and I've named it uh, Thony Python Class. That's that's my folder. Okay, so I'll, I'll call this uh, "Hello World." The py. So every file, every file of uh, Python should go with dot p file the extension there. Okay, I'll click on my folder and save it there. Okay. So I've saved on my folder there. So let, let's run our first program.
together. Let's run our first program. So I'll run print. Every programming language, when you learn any programming language, the first thing you learn is how to print hello world on the screen. So hello world is a tradition. By convention, this is a tradition. So we say hello world. So notice there is a one quote and another one quote. You can do this in Python. So run this. And it's saying, it's printing there, hello world. By convention as well, you can write two quote, run it. Hello world. Right. So you can zoom it. That's the good of Thorn. You can zoom it in or you can zoom it out. So just drag on your on your mouse there. Okay. So basically we have managed to print our first program. And this program is called Hello Hello World. Now when you click, when you hover mouse on the uh, the file name there the file name there you can close you can close all or you can close others if you want to close it okay so let's close this file we've closed the file right you can go on file recent and then you can open the recent file so we can close it and open it from here and then you open it right here. Go back on the file. Close all. It's closing everything. You can also go back there and open there. So it says everything because you might have other files open on the same IDE. So let's go and close it. Everything there. So we're closing everything. Now we go on our folder. So I've got my folder name here, Thorn. How you write a folder, you can right click, new, create a folder, I'll show an example, I'll say uh, Python, now we have a file called Python, let's open our phone. Let's go and write another program here. Open new file, save as. Now let's go and find our folder. So we go on the desktop or wherever you've saved your folder. I've called this Python. Go on this Python there. This is our folder. And let's drop this file here let's name this uh, file here we say we call it name dot py don't forget the dot py save this we can see the link there there's a link it says it's on c users slash cgi slash desktop slash python slash name dot py this is where our file is now let's write another program a second program so remember we've written our program that is calling that is displaying hello world let's see our program that we've created earlier see we have name file we have now hello world file that's what it meant when you go on close all or close others or just close so you can either close all the files or you can just choose to close which file um, you want to close so this is our first program now we are creating a second program that we have named it name.py all right I'll go slowly so that um, can be easily understood now Sometimes it gets a little bit complicated or a little bit uh, too much, but 
this is how to program this is what program is all about all right so we print again and this time we'll say please enter your name so we need this program to print your name so please enter your name and then we come here we write variable this is called variable name so we call this variable name and we say this variable name is equal to whatever the input the user does and we create the function input come there and now we need to print the result we say print the result of whatever the user types and we're saying this program when it prints it should greet face the user and then print the result so we are saying this is the prompt so we prompt the user let me just put a comment there we can put a comment um, we can put a comment here we can say prompts a user for his or her name so we are asking the user to enter his or her name okay let's take this comment and put it up there okay for this comment and then we add another comment here we say take a user input right so this function takes a user input and here we say uh, display results for user okay now let's run this program so we're saying that the first code the first line of of, of code ask ask a user or prompt a user for his or her name the second line of code which is a function it takes a user input takes whatever the user types in and the second line of code displays result for the user okay so let's run this piece of code now say in please enter your name please enter your name and let's enter our name on the say Hadi. So I'm saying my name is Hadi. Now on your keyboard press enter, press enter, and the program says hello Hadi. So this is a simple program that's asking for your name and displays um, the results on the screen it's a very simple program but today we'll stop from here uh, so we have learned we have learned how to um, how to download a thorn uh, IDE again we have learned how to create folders how to create files and how to write a piece of code that display results on our screen thank you so much so today we stop there quite simple program next time we carry on just like and subscribe thank you so much uh, for joining me on learning python using thony ide thank you